Well, hello, everyone, and welcome to your Daily Five for April 11th, 2023. I'm Leslie Juflis of Trading Live Online, and I do this segment a couple of times a month, and I generally show some chart patterns that are close to some type of a completion entry area. Sometimes I give overall market analysis. My last segment, March 28, I did the indexes and I was showing how on monthly charts, the indexes have been in a very large range and are getting close to a breakout think that the S&P 500 has moved to the upside. Uh, it still has that 4,200 level to contend with, which is not very far away. So we'll see if it can make it through that and uh, head on higher. But with that, what I was showing from March 28, that the indexes are going to be breaking out to uh, potentially the upside, then there should be stocks that have some type of pattern that is pointing in that same direction. So that's what I'm going to be showing you today. Uh, we're going to look at AMAT, we're going to look at BABA, Costco, Intel, and NVIDIA. And I'm going to show you some current patterns. And I'm going to teach you a little bit about uh, some of the patterns and uh, also going to show you uh, for educational purposes, uh, a pattern that will form another pattern after the breakout that is the opposite direction. That will make sense in just a few minutes. So let's get to the charts. I'm going to start with AMAP first, Applied Materials, because I want to point out a couple of things for educational purposes. Whenever you're working with any type of a pattern that has a breakout, there's not just one outcome of the pattern. Of course, the expectation is a breakout, but we don't always get that. The market does not always just give us nice, clean breakouts and away it goes uh, in the breakout direction. So I thought AMAT would be a good chart to illustrate this. So you see the sideways range that had formed and you can see an upside breakout out of it. Retest, notice how it retested back into uh, the pattern, which is okay, they can retest back into the pattern. I, if they come about, you know, center of the range, then I would question the entire thing. But sometimes they just do a little retest back in, and uh, you can see here came back up, and now it's retesting again. Look at all the retests that AMAT did back here. That's a lot of retest uh, over, you know, a couple of month periods. So that might make it a bit suspect. And then, sure enough, uh, up here the pattern. Um, uh, made a high out of there and then back down. You see where it came back down all the way to the center, back to the lower end of the range. So I'm not sure we can call this exactly a failed breakout because a trader could be taking profits along the way uh, with this before it reverses. But if you study this type of chart, it's going to help you with your trade management. And then after some testing of the lows, it then broke out for real to the downside. Uh, once it uh, this broke out, came back in again. So we have another kind of little false breakout here and back in. And here is where that real breakout was and then a really large move to the downside. So there are several different outcomes all illustrated in this one chart of what can happen with breakout type trades. So I think that that's good to know and to study uh, because that way you're not going to be taken off guard when you're trading these types of breakouts. And breakout trades, the only thing I can say with them is that they truly are formed to just drive everybody crazy. That's it. So a lot of people just give up after this type of thing and then end up missing the bigger move. Okay, so now AMAT is now once again uh, forming a breakout and has formed a breakout pattern, this inverse head and shoulder pattern, the left shoulder, the head and the right shoulder. You see here, move out of it and then back down, retesting the breakout area. So AMAT has got to be getting above this 125-ish, 126-ish 
high right here and get going to the upside. But you can see where, where these moves came in are coming right back in to where the low point of this range was. So it does have that resistance to get through. Here, um, this is where the measured move of the pattern is. So we're taking the uh, length of the pattern from the low of the head up to that neckline and then projecting it up uh, with that breakout. Now again, a move back down into this pattern, probably breaking support here and here would be very negative for this uh, particular pattern. Up above here and uh, bullish. So for traders, getting into uh, a retest like this, that allows you to kind of place where your stop loss goes. In these patterns, technically, uh, when you buy the breakout, the uh, stop loss, the risk is placed on the other end of the pattern. Well, that's usually a lot of risk. So I like to find other chart points that are going to help with managing the risk in, in a trade like this. Now, BABA uh, symbol, BABA, -B -A, we're looking at this on a weekly chart, and here's an inverse head and shoulder formation down here at the lows. And notice how the low here came back uh, to where these lows were back in 2015. Um, BABA uh, started trading publicly in 2014, and those were the all-time lows that were made at the time before this really spectacular move to the upside. So this is an important support level right here as well. If it breaks this um, with you know strong bars closing to the downside, that would be very negative. Now the thing with inverse head and shoulder patterns, I spread this out a little bit, is that they must have a breakout of the neckline to kind of activate to um, confirm the pattern. So until that happens, we can just look at it as a potential inverse head and shoulder formation. Anything can change. Like right here, we've had a little rally up. So if this came back down and broke it, we no longer have an inverse head and shoulder. If this comes up and does a nice breakout from here, then that is going to confirm this pattern. So remember, any pattern that you're dealing with, price can always change the formation of the pattern. So you want to continue to monitor uh, any chart pattern that you're using. So if uh, the pattern um, is confirmed, then this is where the target would be. So again, taking the height of the pattern, and uh, just projecting it. Uh, I'm just using this as a breakout area that could change if price ended up moving down this trend line and breaking, then you would just adjust that. But that gives you a rough target. And again, for educational purposes, price does not always get to the target. Sometimes they do get there. Sometimes they take a long trip to get there. Uh, sometimes they get partially there and sometimes they exceed it. So again, many different outcomes. So um, it's wise to kind of plan out your trade management based on what these outcomes can be. So our next pattern is a weekly chart of Costco. And this has been in a coiling formation and made the high back here in 2022. And um, it had a big spiky move to the downside. And since then has been forming this coiling pattern. Now I'm using these lows right here to draw this pattern in. And I'm using the descending upward bound a trend line here, uh, but I don't want to ignore that this low exists uh, in case there is a downside breakout. Uh, I just showed you what false moves look like. So if it were to be a break to the downside, you'd want to monitor and see if this is going to hold a support or break as well. Give it a chance. Sometimes they test and move around. Um, interesting is look at the RSI, how the RSI is also forming a coil. So if the breakout is to the upside, then you want to see the RSI move to the upside. If it's to the downside, you're going to want to see the RSI also move to the downside. 
You can see on the MACD histogram here, you can see it also forming a coiling formation on, on this. So um, I would expect a strong move, uh, whatever the confirmed breakout is. We can do a measured move on here. Yep, that's, I think that's just about right. I'm just going to take the height of that pattern. You can always take the low and high prices. And I'm just going to, right now, this may change. Um, but that would um, give a projection up to about new highs for Costco. Now, the other thing that I wanted to point out with this pattern is that generally um, these patterns take till about two thirds to three quarters of the way into the apex um, before breakout. They can continue if we extended this down and this over, that would be sort of kind of way over here somewhere. They can continue, you know, all the way to the point of the apex, but generally it's considered a better um, breakout if the breakout occurs about three quarters, two thirds of the way. So it's getting very, very close to that now. This is Intel, sorry, I forgot to write that on the chart. And this is a daily chart of Intel. Now it uh, came out of, there was a big, look at how big this sideways formation um, is. Uh, and it came down and then went into this sideways range. This formed an A, B, C, D buy pattern at the low of that range. And then the market continued retested came down, tested the center of the range, put that out, little gap to the upside and uh, has moved to the upside and now looks like it's just testing around that breakout range. This is the measured uh, move of this price pattern. And you see that's coming back into this gap area. Again, they can move higher than this. We don't know if this is a reversal point for Intel to kind of start recovering from this big fall. Um, keep in mind the outcomes that we talked about. You know, if we saw the price come way back into here, uh, that would be negative. And I think that we would just kind of uh, have to look for a new, new setup at that point. Um, and then there's a lot of resistance up here for the market for Intel to contend with if it does continue higher. And NVIDIA has been, um, you know, one of the stronger stocks. It's stronger than the NASDAQ uh, index uh, and a lot of semiconductors have been showing uh, strength. So there was an inverse head and shoulder uh, pattern. I had this a, a while ago, weeks and weeks and weeks ago on my week, weekly market setups um, and breakout to the upside and see how it reached the um, the target on here. Now this may continue higher. It's got you know a little point here, uh, supply area here, and so it's got to get through that to continue higher. Um, but one thing I wanted to point out when I said in the very beginning, this will make sense when I show you when there's a, a head and shoulder pattern. I know a lot of you follow what I do with the ABCD pattern. Well, here's um, an example of an ABCD cell pattern that is conflicting with the direction of this buy pattern. And this is something that the trader has to resolve if they trade the ABCD pattern ahead of time. In other words, in your trade plan, you either you either just ignore this pattern because it's coming out of a breakout pattern or you apply trade management that is going to um, mitigate any potential losses. Uh, so I just wanted to point that out. This is the same when there's um, topping head and shoulder patterns. There will always be an ABCD buy pattern that completes below the neckline. This one you can see completed above the neckline. And so again, that's something that you have to work out in your trade plan. So Again, NVIDIA uh, has reached that level, and uh, I think if it gets above here, we'll probably see it get up into this uh, congestion here. Maybe take a take a pause for a little little bit. So that's it for me today. Thanks for joining me on today's Your Daily Five. I hope everybody has a great trading week, and I'll talk to you on the next segment. 
Hey, Grayson Rose here with Stock Charts. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed that video. If you did, consider giving it a like down below, maybe leave us a comment, and if you're new to the channel, you can subscribe at the link up above. We're gonna bring you daily content from an incredible collection of technical analysts and financial experts.